KKBQ HD2 Pasadena Houston Broadcasting from the historic KCOH Radio Studio Okay, how is everybody doing out there? We've got Ralph Cooper out of here Finally got him out of the studio I had to throw him out on his head Well, let me enlighten everybody right now This is Stevie Ray This is my new show I'm sorry, got a little tongue twister there Straight Shooting with Stevie Ray And uh, we're going to be coming to you every Wednesday, every Wednesday at 7 p.m., KCOH TV 92.9 FM HD 2 from the historic KCOH studios. And we are streaming live. And let me let you in on a little something right now. Tonight, I was special guest since this is my first show. This guy has been a big inspiration to me. We worked together for several years. Diamond Dallas Page will be calling in tonight. Diamond Dallas Page, that's DDP. He will be calling in tonight in the next few minutes, uh, and we're going to chop it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to chop it up, and we're going to do it just like we do it here. And uh, a little later tonight, Reality of Wrestling's own, my brother, Booker T., will be calling in also. Right now, he's at the WrestleMania festivities that's going on up in Arlington, Texas, because the WrestleMania hype is going on all over that town right now, and I'm glad I'm not there, and I'm glad I'm here right tonight. So, if you want to call in and chime in with a couple of these gentlemen, the phone number is 713-526-1230. That is 713-526-1230. And hey, I got my sidekick in the studio with me. My sidekick in the studio with me. Now, Ralph was making fun of your name. Why don't you tell everybody your name? So since Ralph is not here, tell everybody your name. The name is Angel Corona, C-O-R-O-N-A, no relation to the beer. <laughs> now, now, Steve, I got a question for you. What's that? Has anybody told you how, how do you have so many muscles? Yeah, they told me. You have muscles on muscles. Yeah, they told me. They said I went to the gym. You That's me, what happened. You're making me look like I'm the <laughs> hangman. <laughs> well, hey, brother, you hang with me, you get to the top. How's that? I got that. I hey, got you you. Straight, long as you shoot straight, you cool with me. I can dig it. And we can do that. Let's you see what it. I'm saying? And like I said before, if you got anybody out there that wants to chime in. And this show, let me just give you a small synopsis as to what we're going to be doing here. What we're going to be doing, everybody knows the great Ralph Cooper that's been on the air for two to three decades, talking about sports like nobody else can. What we're going to be doing is talking about extreme sports, extreme combat sports, but we will be talking about regular sports also. But professional wrestling, MMA, professional boxing, those are three of my main topics that we're going to be talking about on a nightly basis. So if any of you guys out there that are, Extreme sports junkies, contact sports junkies, this is going to be your station. And let me enlighten you on a couple of things. A few people that we got lined up to call in in the next few weeks. Let me give you a couple of names. Anybody ever heard of the MMA fighter, King Mo, who's a very good friend of mine, the former Bellator fighting light heavyweight champion? He will be chiming in here. And we also have the great former Heisman Trophy Winner, all-time great, Herschel Walker. He will be calling in here. These are guys that's giving me their words. They're friends of mine. And, brother, I can't wait to chop it up with them. Another thing, next week, our second show, it will consist of Little Flip and the Block Boys who have just dropped a new album. We will have them in the studio next week. Next week, don't forget that. Little Flip and the Block Boys will be coming in the studio to chop it up with Stevie Ray. Angel, what do you think about that? All I got to say is game over. Flip. Flip's going to come in here. He's going to spit some dope rhymes. Are you familiar with him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now oh, you're, doing, yeah. you're not just telling me that, right? Oh, no. Okay. I can kick it with Flip. I'm okay. looking forward to that next week. He's going to be here. It's going to be fun. He's going to be spitting rhymes. We might ask him some off-topic questions. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. Lil Flip has gone through the gambit. He's been up, he's been down. So when we bring him in this studio, we're going to have to chop it up with him. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to get down with him because, you know, there's a lot of fans out there really want to know what's going on with Flip. You dig what I'm saying? I dig it. So that's why he has agreed with the Block Boys, who that I actually co-manage. 
Like, see, you didn't know that, did you? Did not. You didn't know Ray Dog was out there on the set, did you? Ray's teaching me things every day. (laughs) Yeah. Dell would be in the studio, and I'm telling you right now, the album is hot. The album is hot, and I can't wait for you to hear. I can't wait for you to hear, dog. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to that. I want to hear some spit rhymes from Lil Flip and the Block Boys. Another thing. I didn't want to say anything about this, but I'm going to have to bring it up. Now, you know me and you were talking earlier. Yeah. And you know we were talking about legacy fighting. Yeah, we were here in Houston. Okay. I'm working a deal. Can you believe it? I'm working a deal right now. Please tell me. Please tell me. To get the Legacy Fighting Championships fighters in the studio on a regular basis. Whew. Are you serious? At, on a regular basis. You dig what I'm saying? I, Nobody else can do that. You're the man, Stevie. Hey. You are the man. Hey, give you it up, making dog. things happen. Nay. We will get them in the studio. And we will talk to them and chop it up with them like nobody else can. You know why? Because that's what we do. That's right. That's what we do right here. KKBQ, 92.9 FM, HD2. That's what we do in the historic KCOH studios. I didn't want to put it out there, but I had to. And one more thing. What's that? Are you familiar with reality of wrestling? R O W, yes. Okay. Now you know I'm affiliated with Rally the Wrestling. Yeah, I see. You, you know that. Yeah, I see you knock a couple people out, a couple hundred. Now you know that I'm getting back in the ring next week, April the 9th. You lacing up the boots? Man, I'm lacing them up. Whew. Gotta be there. I'm gonna I'm go check it out. I'm lacing them up because two big mouth. Two big mouth. Call me and my protege, Ruthless Ryan Davison, who is under my expert tutelage, who has gone straight to the top because of my influence, called us out in a tag match. Oh, you got to definitely put them in their place. Put some big boots in their face. Let them know. Slam them. Do what you got to do. Mysterious Q. You ever heard of this punk? Yeah, I got that mask on. No one knows who he is. Well, somebody pulled it off and we had to see that ugly face of his. Whew. As far as I'm concerned, it should be a law to make him put it back on. And his partner, you want to hear what his name is? Tell me. Marcellus Black, former NFL football player. Ah, oh, you should be able to run through these guys. I'm telling you right now, from what I've been hearing, he don't even want to show up. That's what I've been hearing. Because you know what? He heard what I told him. What'd you you know him? what I tell him? What would you tell this guy? Please, please let everybody know. I told know. this chump. I'm going to kick him in the chest so hard, my footprint is going to be on his back. <laughs> I'd hate to be that guy. It's like a Kung Fu movie when I get through with him, dog. They might call you Jackie Chan or <laughs> Bruce you Lee after saying? that. This dude, this dude, he ain't ready to go in deep water, bro. He ain't ready to go in deep water. You dig what I'm saying? I dig it. Well, I just had to put that on you. So we're going to try. I'm not promising, but I'm going to try to get him in the studio also. Do I do I gotta do I gotta be the referee? No, uh, wait a minute now. Now we got contractual obligations that we have to do inside the studio. We can't just come and tear the place up. You know what I'm saying? But uh I'm gonna be a professional. Okay. And I'm gonna lay it down, I'm gonna chop it up. I want people to know. And we're gonna go from there. I got your back, Stevie Ray. Hey, I appreciate that. I got that. your back. Something goes I, down, I'll be your guy. Hey, brother, and I appreciate that because I need that kind of backing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The hangman got you. I need that kind of backing. But uh, uh, does, do we have, uh, is Dallas on the phone yet? Yo, yo, anybody there? Dallas. Hello. It's not Dallas. Uh, who is it? I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, your little sister from New Jersey. Hey, Kathy, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it was your first show, and I had to call in and say, I am very proud of you. Hey, I appreciate it, Kathy. For for everybody out there that doesn't know, this is my uh, sister from another mother, you know, that used to take care of me and my brother on the road when we were going up and down the highways of, in the professional wrestling days back in the WCW days, and uh, hey, I'm indebted to her. How you doing? Good, good. I just I 
got your uh, thing on Facebook that you were doing the show, and I just had to call in your first show and say you're awesome. You got you, you and Booker are the best. You know I love you guys both. We love you and, too. Um, I'll be seeing you in New Jersey soon. I think. Hey, that'll work. And you take it slow now. I, I appreciate you calling in. All right, you take it easy. Okay, now. We got anybody else? Hello, you're on the line. What's up, Steve, right? What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Man, I'm trying to get by. What about yourself? Say, man, you remember me this way. You remember I called you the other day when you was over there talking all that smack on the radio? <laughs> yeah, I remember. All right, well, yeah, okay. How you doing? I'm gonna say that again. I'm oh, doing. I'm doing. Let me let me enlighten you. I'm doing very well. Ever since Ralph Cooper has been thrown out of the studio, how's that? Yeah. And another thing, I want you to do. I want you to stop taking on Ralph when he. Wait, is wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, want I you come to stop in the studio. I come in the I want studio. You in there trying to bully Ralph no, 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 man. Him, man. No, no, no. You got it all wrong. I come in the studio preparing, doing my prep work, getting ready to do my first show. And what does he do? He gets with his boy on the radio, and they start trying to chop me down. Hey, man, I don't appreciate that. I have to defend myself. Well, first of all, man, I've been holding on the phone for 30 minutes. You took 15 minutes of that time, of my time, running up my minutes and everything. No, no, no. And I'm then sorry. you want to talk to everybody else except me. You know I was on the phone. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, dog. Wait, wait a minute. minute. Wait a minute, don't man. Don't mess with Ralph no more. Say, <laughs> man, I told you that guy that went to private school, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for leaving you on the phone that long. I'm very uh, sorry, but uh, I was trying to get I was trying to get a few things out of the way because this is our first show, and we're trying to get our listeners to know exactly where we're coming from on this show. That's all. My apologies, and I will not let it happen again. How was that? That's good. Now, this guy Diamond Dollars paid you for to get on there. Do you know anything about the JYD? Well, we're about to find out, brother, because I'm a show him. If uh, okay, what, what about Kamala? Well, we're gonna find out. Um, if anybody knows, it's Diamond Dallas Page. If anybody knows, it's Diamond Dallas uh -huh. Page. So we will find out exactly how astute he is about professional wrestling when we get through with him. Yeah, but before you get off the show tonight, I want you to apologize to Ralph. Is he still in there? No, he's not. I want you to buy him a, one of them them T bone them them Flintstone steaks. He likes to eat. <laughs> oh, is that what he likes to eat? <laughs> That's good to know. That's very good to know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was. Okay. 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 Fish too, man. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good yeah, to know. Yeah. That's good yeah, ammunition. All right. Y'all right. have a good show. Man. Okay, brother. It's all good. All right, all right. Take it easy, bro. Who we got now? How you doing? You on the air? Yo, Stevie Ray. What's going on, bro? Hey, man. Just uh. You, because your lines just be lighting up because I had to call a couple times before I got through, but I'm who, man? Oh, I'm man, call, man. I, well, well, how did that happen? Uh, I'm in the studio right now, and uh, we got a couple of guys in here. We got Young Ben in here, and we got Angel in here. They're the ones producing the show, and they, they let that happen. Don't worry, Dallas. I'll take care of both of them as soon as the show is over. I'll take care of both That's of good, them. Bro. One I can't get rid of yeah. because his dad owns the studio. The other one I can take care of him, though. How's that? I'm good, man. I'm all good. Don't beat them up. We're good. Well, hey, man, we appreciate you calling in, man. This is my first show. And, uh, man, I really appreciate you calling in. And uh, we got a lot of people out there that have been hitting me up about this. Dallas really going to be on your show. Well, they hear you right now. We j just had Kathy call in from Philly. She uh, wanted to congratulate us. So, hey, man, we got them listening from all over the United States, brother. I just want to know one thing. What are you up to, man? Are you going to WrestleMania this weekend, or what's the deal? My wife has so many bags packed because, you know, you, know, you got to bring the merch. When you, when you go to do the signings, <laughs> you got to bring all your stuff. And, you know, now between between the DDP yoga and the DDP yoga shirts, and they made up some Diamond Club shirt, and the, the Resurrection of Jake the Snake shirt. I mean, dude, I got... I got the DVDs. No one's got me. The DVDs have not gone out yet. Right. And all the people who took care of Jake and Scott. Right. Right. 
you know, and, and donated to their, their Indiegogo page where for a picture or, a, you know, a T-shirt or a DVD or whatever, those guys are going to get them first. We're sending all them people Blu-ray uh, DVDs. They'll have them before anybody, but they ain't in yet. But the, the, the DVDs that are just the regular DVDs, I got them, and I'm, I'm bringing them down there. And like I said, my wife, dude, my car my, my truck, my Jeep, <laughs> is so packed up. I've right. got six of the jumbo bags. Six. Wow. Six of them. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a million miler. So Delta lets you have three bags if you're a million miler. Right. And 70 pounds of peace. Mm. See, me, I got like 450 pounds worth of gimmicks. Between that and my own clothes. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be at Access on... Thursday, I'll be flying tomorrow. Right. Thursday night, I'll do, I'll do access. That, that's uh, Mark, that's Mark Cuban station, right? Well, not, not, the, not, the, not the radio. I'm talking about that, that big access. Oh, the ac- oh okay. I got, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry about that. It's like the, like the big expo thing, man. Like, right, that, right, right, that, right. That's almost the biggest spectacle as, you know, as uh, WrestleMania. I mean, it's crazy. Right. How much you know, they give to the fans. I don't know what the cover is, but whatever it is, it's a super fan experience, and all the autographs are free. You know, all the pictures are free. Right. You know, they, they get to do all of that. And they got, you know, wrestling going on from the NXT guys. They got a lot of good stuff going there. So I'll do that for like six to eight. Then I'll go back to the you know, hotel, uh-huh. have something to eat, crash out. Because next morning I'm going to be a wrestle con. Right. And, you know, getting, that's where all the boys get to come in and make a little extra cash. You know? Right, and, right. And, and WWE, I'm sure they didn't like it at first, but I guess they're cool with it, you know. And, uh, I mean, that's a spectacle because they're bringing in different wrestling organizations. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of new, young, top talent. Right. So I'll be there. I'll be there signing from like 10 to 3. When are you going to be there exactly? Time. Dallas, when are you going to be there exactly? Because a lot of people listen to you and they want to know. When are you going to be there exactly? Yeah, tomorrow day I will be at, I'll be in Dallas. Okay. And I'll be at Access. Uh-huh. And then on Friday, Friday morning, I will be from 10 to 3 with Jake Roberts, Jake Snake. Right. And I'll be right next to each other at uh, WrestleCon. Uh-huh. And then Saturday... I'll be back at Access. I'm not sure the time, but I'll be back at Access. And then we got the Hall of Fame that night. Right. And um, and then the next day, I got the DDP Yoga Workshop, which right now, Stevie, we have 98 people at. You got to be kidding me, bro. Working out with me, bro. You got to be kidding me, man. No, man, 98 people signed up. And Steve Austin just talked about it on his podcast, too. Uh-huh. And between you and him, I know we're going to you know, get up to around 120, 130. And I'll tell you what, man, when, I, when I'm out there and I'm, you know, I, I call it inspiration meets perspiration. <laughs> it's not just a workout with me, man. You know, it's two and a half hours. It's two and a half. I get there early. I get there like in 45 minutes, an hour early. See, I say hello to every single person. I shake their hand. A hundred people. Come in. A hundred people. Wow. And then, and then, then we work, then we all work. Uh, I do the inspirational stuff. <laughs> I have this whole talk that I do around owning it. Right. You know, like me and you got to live a dream. Like how, we, we were owning it. You know. Right. Because that's the only way we got there. <clears throat> you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I talk about that and helping people achieve their goals and their dreams. And I take them through a bit of my life, uh-huh. and then I then I get I get into breathing, I get into because you know, I, I don't do any of the spiritual mumbo jumbo right. with DDP yoga. You know? Right, right. You know, I'm the guy like you who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga <laughs> right? because it healed my body. Right. You know, and I changed it, and you know, I didn't make this for yogi people. Right. You know, and I respect what they do. I you know, I get it because I've done it all now, but it's just not my thing, and. I'm not trying to get them to do my thing. Right. I'm, I've gone after people who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga. Right. But we'll, we'll do DDP yoga. Your know, tagline, and you, I know you love this, it ain't your mama's yoga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, yeah, I'll be there. You got to uh, coin that. You got to coin there. that. <laughs> yeah, I do, but no, I trademark that. Oh, right. It ain't your mama's yoga. That is great. I trademark that. <laughs> that is great. 
Yeah. I got a full week, baby. Hey, let I me ask you something, week. man. For all for for the people out there that don't know, we got Diamond Dallas Page DDP on the phone right now with straight shooting Stevie Ray. Diamond, for all the people out there that don't know, how did you get this yoga thing going, man? And what what kind of gravitated you to that? Other than the, the fact that your I body got, was all tied up. I got I gotta respect you, but at the same time, don't call my stuff yoga, bro. What's I'm sorry. That? I'm sorry. What's it called? DDP <laughs> yoga. Come I'm on, sorry. D- it. But it wasn't so DDP yoga it. when you first started, though. No, but, but you know, again, again, I'm that bullheaded guy who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga the first 42 years of my life. Okay. But you know... I didn't okay. start wrestling until I was 35. Let, 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 yeah. me, let me change that question. Let me change that around. Let me change the whole phrase around. Diamond Dallas Page, what made you start it, get into... <laughs> I almost said the wrong thing again. But what made you gravitate... <laughs> what, made, what made you gravitate to DDP? P yoga other than the fact that your body was all twisted up and you had did all those years on the road man like people don't know how hard the road is you know i try to tell people sometimes if you don't do it you'll never know and ddp like he just said he gets into professional wrestling at 35 that's that's kind of an older man to get into professional wrestling because we all know professional wrestling is a young man sport and everybody knows ddp was a top top professional wrestler in this game for a long time then he gets out of the game he does several endeavors then he starts ddp yoga and i would just like to know how all that came together bro well you know i don't know if you remember because we were both running our own courses back back in the day when it was hot and heavy on the road right you know, but right at the end of 98 when we were still killing it right i blew my back i blew my back out so badly that I literally had ruptured my L4 and L5. Right. So that means that those little discs, for people who don't know what the rupture means, you have in between your vertebrae, your bones, in between there are like these rubber right. you know, fluid cushions. Discs. Yeah. Fluid, yeah. And they make it so we can jump up and down. Right. Basketball, football, do crazy stuff and bounce back up. But if you get older and you keep beating them bad boys up, what I did was rupture them. So think of stepping on a jelly donut. Uh-huh. Now they're gone, and I'm bone on bone. So it's excruciating. Nobody <laughs> comes back from that. Right. Uh, Shawn Michaels, he ended up doing surgery because of that and came back three years later. I remember that. I think it was three and a half, and, but he also used DDP yoga, too, to help get him back as well. And what happened was I, I just signed a multi-million dollar deal. I mean, I was on top of the world, and then they're telling me it's over. Three of the top spine specialists in the world. Well, at that time, the guy who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga will try just about anything. Right. You know, so you know, I started doing some yoga, and uh, I, I went to a bunch of tapes. I couldn't handle the spiritual mumbo-jumbo. And, and again, I respect it, but it stopped for me. And I finally found one guy who wasn't like that, and... I was following his, you know, I couldn't do all the moves. There was no one modifying the position. So I had to figure it out. Right. And within three weeks, Stevie, I swear to God, three weeks, I started to feel a significant difference. Now, I'm still doing rehab. Now, I'm doing the rehab that the docs got me doing, and I've rehabbed both shoulder surgeries already, both knee surgeries already. Right. So I know a lot about rehab at that time. So one night before I crash out, I start to mix the yoga positions. Notice I didn't say posture right. or pose. I'm an athlete. I play a position. I get in a position. So that's my, my mindset went all about how do you do this with, for, for me, for regular guys. So I took the yoga positions, mixed them with the rehabilitation techniques. Okay. And I threw in something we all grew up with, you know, push-ups, squats, crunches. But I did him with a slow burn movement because I had to. That's the way I had to do them. It wasn't like a choice. Right. It's the only way I could do them. And what I figured out, Steve, completely by accident, every time you flex or engage a muscle, okay. your heart has to beat faster to get the blood to the muscle. So okay. what I create completely by accident is a workout today known as DDP yoga, that's kick-ass cardio. 
that mm. would dramatically, dramatically increase your flexibility and strengthen your core like never before. Right. All with minimal joint impact. In less than three months, I'm back in the ring. At 42, those three spine specialists said I'd never wrestle again. At 43 years young, I was the heavyweight champion of the world. There you go. And so, as you can imagine, I'm going to keep doing that. And I started sharing it with people. And it took a long time for people to finally start hearing me. That the disabled veteran, you've seen that video of the disabled veteran I helped, right? Right. Yeah, so that, that's got over 12 million, almost 13 million views on wow. our YouTube channel, our DDP TV channel. Almost 13 million views of the guy who was disabled, 300, 297 pounds, five foot six, could not walk without the knee braces, the back brace, or the wraparound canes. In 10 months, not only loses 140 pounds, wow. he loses the knee braces, the back brace, and the wraparound canes, not just to walk, but run. When I could show that video, that he documented, his son documented the whole thing. When I showed that to Chris Jericho, uh -huh. Chris had blown his back out. He had herniated his L4. He couldn't sing. He couldn't wrestle. He was done. I sent him that video. He called me five minutes later. He said, D, you tell me what to do, and I will do whatever you say. Wow. In, fi in five weeks, Stevie, he was 85% pain-free in three months. He headlined WrestleMania in Miami against CM Punk. Okay. And has been wrestling, and DDP Yoga is the only workout he does. He turned gold dust onto it. He started four years ago at gold dust at 37. Right. He's moving around like he's 20. Like, like he's 22 years old again. Yeah, I mean, he said it like, but again. He gives all the credit to DDP Yoga. AJ Styles just blew his back out in Japan three, about three months ago. Right. And uh, CJ, you know, Chris Jericho, he always sends me something for one of the boys. He goes, I talked to AJ. Give him a hand, bro. Because he, he emails both of us, right? Right. I call him. I say, AJ, send me your phone number. He call, I got his phone number. I called him up. He's right here in Georgia. I'm like, AJ, here's the DDP Yoga Performance Center's address. I'm right. texting it to you. When can you be there to meet me one-on-one? -on -one? I'll give you all the stuff, but I want to make sure I see where you at because I know you want to be at the WWE like in five weeks. Right. So I had to put him on the fast track, and he came in. We worked out for about an hour. I really took him through his time, showing him modifications. You know, AJ, this kid's like one of the strongest guys down to town on the planet, and he does oh, yeah. the most dangerous stuff ever. Yeah, I mean, he's doing, like, the crazy stuff. So him and, uh, him and, and Jericho are on top, you know, in one of the hot angles at WrestleMania. I mean, that's like the DDP yoga match. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> that's man. And now I got, you know, I went on Shark Tank, not last February, but the February before. I didn't see that. I'm going to have to pull it up. Oh, uh, dude, it was awesome. We didn't get the deal. But I didn't go there for the deal. Right. I went there for the exposure. Right. And you want to know the power of Shark Tank? We like we're, we're pretty we're pretty viral. We're pretty we're, we're pretty tech savvy in my DDP Yoga company. Uh huh. And we we were I was on. I don't know if you saw the Raw where it was the old school Raw. Me and your brother were in the back. And, and, a, and he was checking out the DDP Yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. Yeah, I did see that. Okay. That night, that night, bro, and then Jake showed up, and everybody could see how great he looked and everything. Right, right. That night shut down my sight. What? We got hit with so many people, it shut down my sight. Now, thank God, because two months later, I'm going to be on Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. We put on 27 servers. Not one server, we had 27 of them. And so if one got filled, it rolled to the next. So we could handle all the orders. Stevie, we did a million dollars in six days in sales. A million. Unbelievable. That's, that's, that's crazy, bro. That's the power. That is nuts, man. 
Now, crazy, I knew I knew DDP yoga was changing lives, but I didn't know it was changing lives like that. <laughs> but the two lives that I the two lives that I that really that really intrigued me and that really, you know, really made me start taking taking heed to the whole thing was Jake the Snake and Scott Hall. I could yeah, not man. believe how this this thing, this this your creation, has changed lives like that, man. And that's saying something, brother. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. Because that's Thank you, man. that's a per- that's something that's really changing life. And I mean really changing lives, brother. These guys, for people that don't know, were in dire straits. They were in dire straits. Diamond Dallas Page came to them, came to the rescue, and brother, there, there, book of me and Scott was chopping it up down here at uh, one of the uh, pay per view events a few months ago, brother. And I remember the last time I talked to him before that, it was night and day. Right. It was night and day. Night and day. It was like me, him talking in 1997. You know what I'm saying? It was right. crazy. Right. It was crazy, bro. Yeah. You know, like I saw him today, I was leaving my house. As I pulled out, he was walking because, you know, he's got the new hip now, which we helped him. Because if he didn't get, if he didn't come to stay with me, uh-huh. and, you know, what I call the accountability crew, Stevie, you, I've not sent you the resurrection of Jake the Snake yet, have I? No, you haven't. No, I'm going to send that to email me tonight. Okay. And text me. Okay. And I will send you, and I'll come back on your show, and we'll talk about resurrection, because then you'll really see. Yes. And right now, if you're listening, you want to see the resurrection. It's it's right now on iTunes. It's on Google Play, right. Amazon, um, PlayStation. Um, and what's really awesome, the first month we just went on iTunes. Because, you know, iTunes is like the WWE yeah. of that stuff. Yeah, know? I know. So it. I wanted to do exclusive with them. We have 306 reviews from people, right? 301, Stevie, out of 306 are five star ratings. What? Three hundred and one out of three hundred and six. Two hundred and twenty eight of them actually took the time to write about it. <laughs> that's Dude, a, it is, that's amazing. Was, that's see, amazing. I, mean, the beginning. I was there when Harlem Heat came in. I watched you guys <laughs> work your ass off from the bottom inch your guys who came in on the developmental deal. Right. I watch you guys work your ass off. You watch me make that transition and be that jabron coming up and work my ass off. We were there. We saw it. You know how proud I am of my career yes. and what I've been able to do with DDP Yoga. But I'm telling you, bro, there is nothing I am prouder of than the resurrection of Jake the Snake. There is nothing I've 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 got to see that. I've got to see that brother, and I'm gonna make sure I shoot you my uh, email. But I got uh, one of my con- compadres to change gears here for a second. I got one of my compadres yeah, you got it. into the in the studio right now. Is he's Angel? Uh, his name is Angel. I'm not gonna even say what his last name is because <laughs> Ralph hey, Cooper, Angel. the great Ralph Cooper, on, was DD? in here earlier. Angel, you got something to say to uh, DDP? DDP, Diamond Dallas Page, I just got a question for you. You got one of the best sure. finishers in the Diamond Cutter. If you could lay that special, lay that finish on anybody, whether it be wrestlers, non-wrestlers, who would that be? Well, right now, it would have to be Randy Orton. <laughs> 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 He's got that RKO. He's got that RKO. But yeah, you know, I think he needed to feel that diamond cutter. I, I, uh, I, I think that out of nowhere. I think I was the originator of the out of nowhere. But Randy made it famous, and I got to put him over for that <sighs> because that thing went, went loose on the internet. You know, man, and it just you know that it, it got that move over huge, huge, and, and I had a lot of fun with it. But if I could take it on anybody, it would be on him. <laughs> I got a feeling if, if me and him ever end up being face to face. I don't know, man. He's 30 years younger than me, man. Well, DDP might be taking the RKO. <laughs> you know, you never know. Well, uh, Angel, I'm here to tell you, he hit me with the diamond cutter. If it, wasn't, if it wasn't for him hitting me with the diamond cutter, I would have been the heavyweight champion of the world. No, DDP, <laughs> why'd you do it? Why? 
<laughs> we could have been in the studio talking. Stevie Ray could have been yeah, there. Yeah, we could have been talking about when I when I escaped the diamond cutter and I pinned him. There we go. You know what I'm saying? But that it never happened. But hey, couldn't happen to a nicer guy, brother. And uh, D.D. Key, he's one of the true, true souls of professional wrestling and a man that I can truly say is a friend of mine from the professional wrestling Absolutely. game. But uh, DDP, man, I sure appreciate you calling in, man. I really do. And I hope a lot of people have really gotten enlightened from DDP Yoga and how it changes lives. And everybody needs to go out and see the resurrection of Jake the Snake. Everybody needs to buy that on iTunes. And uh, hey, man, if you can help me out and push that app like I sent to you, get it to some of your people because, hey, this is a show that's going to be catering to pro wrestling, boxing, MMA, and uh, we want to chop it up like that. Well, you know, put out whatever you got there, bro. You know, I got, I got your back like I always do, man. Hey, I appreciate and, uh, it, man. It was great seeing your brother, too, because he come down. He was here for my 60th birthday, him and the and yeah. the Sean Mel, man. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a good time. So, you, yeah. know, you know, I got you, man. Hey, I sure I appreciate it, man. I pro- I'll probably see you this weekend at the Hall of Fame. And, uh, hey, man, like I said, appreciate you calling in and giving us a little bit of your time. And we're going to have to chop it up again, dog. That cool? You got it, buddy. I'll, uh, I'll, send you, I'll send you the movie out tonight. Okay. Thank you very much. That is Diamond Dallas Page chopping it up with Stevie Ray and Angel about some of his new endeavors, especially his DDP yoga. Anybody trying to get in shape out there, if your body all twisted up. Hey, this man has changed lives, and I'm talking about changed lives at big time. What do you think about that, Angel? Man, that guy's ma- making moves. He's out there rehabilitating. He's a mover and a shaker. Yeah. He's I didn't a know all that shaker. stuff uh, rehabilitated your body like that, made it made your body perform better. And a lot of those guys he was talking about are really up in age. Yes. And they're still, to this day, after they did the yoga, are performing at a high, high level. High, high level. And, and I think you know, it is really because yes. of Mr. Diamond Dallas's page. Hey. Yoga. Hey. Say what you want about yoga. Hey. Diamond Dallas page yoga. Well, you know, I think a lot of people have a misconception. Even I did. At one time, because you look at the people that are taking yoga, and it's a bunch of middle-aged women that ain't got no new housewives, things of that nature, that don't really have a lot to do, so let's go do some yoga, so on and so forth. And I never knew that yoga was that, you know, had that much of a healing process to it, that it can take the human body and untangle it. That's the first time I heard it today. And I might go try some DDP yoga. Hey, nothing wrong with that, bro. If you're going to try it, you might as well try DDP, yo. Try the good thing. <laughs> try the best. <laughs> Do we have any other call-ins? Uh, let's get them on the line right now. Yo, you're on the line with Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray, what's up, man? How not, you doing, man? Not too much, brother. Who is this? It's Lil Rick. Hey, what's up, Rick? Oh, man, just, just welcome me on your first uh, night on your show, showing your, uh, show some love, man. Hey, um, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. You know what we're going to be doing every Wednesday. You know we're going to be doing this, right? Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, and, and you know what we're going to be talking about, right? Hey, I, I heard your announcement. I heard your lineup. You know, uh, you're going to mix it up. Hey, yeah. Dog, we're talking to everybody here. I got some comedians lined up. You dig what I'm saying? I right. got some movie producers lined up. You hear what I'm saying? I got yeah, some... Yeah. Uh, I I gotta stop telling everybody what I got lined up because everything gonna you know yeah. like we gonna gonna bring we gonna drop it on you when you least suspect it. That's what we yeah. gonna do on here on straight shooting with Stevie Ray, brother. But I mean, I'm gonna tell you one thing: we gonna do we gonna have some fun, bro. That's right, that's right. Hey, I like the flavor already. And Thank you, your, your uh, guest, uh, Mr. Corona. What's yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, Steve, I just yeah. have to ask you, man. Uh, Oh, this past weekend, what's your opinion seeing um uh, Andre Ward his first time debuting at a as a full fledged light heavyweight at one seventy five against that undefeated Cuban? Well, you know he fought an undefeated fighter that actually hadn't had a fight with a guy on his level, you know, as far as his experience and things of that nature. But f- to be honest, and I'm gonna be truthful right here from what I saw, uh, he didn't really impress me very much. He really didn't impress me very much. And I'm telling you right now, if he got in the ring with Kovalov right now, Ward would be beaten. <laughs> Ward would be beaten. I will go on record of saying that right now. I really do. But I, I hope I'm wrong because I really like the guy. But I honestly think he needs one more fight because he's been out of the ring so long. As good as you are, the only thing that makes you better is fighting. Hey, and, and, and we, we got to remember, man, he's going up and wait. You know, uh, he fought a... Uh, 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 
lightweight uh, Chad Dawson. You know, Chad Dawson came down to fight him at right. 168. Right. Uh, Which was a mistake. Right. Yeah. But see, he, he in there with the big boys now. So, well, you know, yeah, really and truly, really and truly, I, you know, I think he holds the weight. You know, he looked pretty good at the weight. But Kovalov is like a light heavyweight. I mean, I'm sorry, like a cruiserweight fighting yep. at light heavyweight. So in all actuality, you're fighting a bigger man weight-wise, but you're also bite, fighting a bigger man size-wise. It's a big difference between weight and size, and a lot of people don't know that. Right. Yeah, kind of like um, Adrian Broner going up from lightweight to welterweight. You know, he was knocking out all them lightweight opponents left and right. You know, he got up there with them welterweights. He was still had his quickness, and he was still connecting but he wasn't dropping anyone anymore. Now he back down to lightweight. Well, Adrian Broner, you know, is a very talented young man. But until he gets his head together, he'll always be in the shadows. And until you start making pay-per-view fights, you're just another guy out there fighting. Right. So you make the big money. Right. And the, talking about it, the, talking about it ain't going to be it. You got to be about it, brother. All right, man. Just want to show you some love on your face. Hey, I appreciate life. that, dog. And don't forget to call back. All right, all right. Appreciate that. Hello, who we got on the line? Hey, man, this is John. I just wanted to call and congratulate you, bro. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. Thank you very you much. Know I, you know I got your back. I'm out here advertising the hell out of the show. Well, hey, man, you know how we got to do it. For everybody who don't know, this is uh, this is one of my partners here right now. We do a lot of things together out there in the community, promoting things, so on and such. He manages the BFE. Uh, club uh, as a rock club on the west side of Houston, and uh, we're going to be doing some good things. As a matter of fact, he's going to be getting me talent to come inside the studio. I'm going to bring that rock town. I'm going to get Suey over there for Pitbulls Pro. League. Oh yeah, we got uh, Suey going to be coming in from Pitts. Hey man, I didn't I didn't want nobody to know that. Oh well, you know they do now. No oh, man, you just spilled the beans, dog. That's all right. That was going to be a big announcement, bro. That's all right. No, it's not all right, bro. You just killed my gimmick, bro. But that's all right. Since it's you, I'm going to let you off the hook, man. Yeah, well, you know, they can look forward to it. Okay, dog. You know what I'm saying? They got... We're going to pull everything I can out of my hat to help you out. Okay, then, bro. Hey, I appreciate that, John. Hey, right, man. (laughs) All right, dog. Stay up, brother. Peace. Hello, Stevie. You got Stevie on the line. Who we talking to? What up, dog? This your brother Booker T. What's up, dog? We've been waiting for you to call. Did you get caught in traffic or something? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm down here right there in Dallas, Texas, getting ready to, you know, kick off this WrestleMania thing. Man, I had to do a little swerve thing, a little <laughs> shoot early, and then I. Oh yeah, we were trying to think of that earlier. With, uh, one, of, one of the one of the fans on uh, contest one is yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down here right now. Well, hey, man, you know, we got a few people been waiting on the line to see what you got going. Uh, you let, just let everybody know you're down at the WrestleMania Stravaganza, you know, doing what you do. We just had Dallas Page on the line chopping it up, man, and it was a heck of a, a heck of an interview, man. He chopped it up. You know how yeah, Dallas do. Did Dallas, did Dallas sell that DDP yoga, man? Did he sell? Did he sell some people? <laughs> well, I think he, I think he, uh, I think he had a few few extra heads when he get down to him. <laughs> <laughs> he, Dallas he, is the greatest salesman. I'm gonna tell you, man. Dallas is a great salesman and a good friend. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, we 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 all gave him his accolades, you know, before he got off the phone. But we chopped it up with him for about I don't know thirty minutes or so, man. And you know how he can go. He's been like that yeah. forever, brother. You know how he can go. Yeah. But let everybody yeah. know what you're doing and what you're gonna be doing this weekend, dog. Oh man, I'm gonna be uh, kicking off WrestleMania. Actually, got Saturday night on the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Inductions, you know, we got, um, you know. Cool what do you think about, before you go any further, what do you think about the Hall of Fame inductees? Anybody you, know, anybody first, you have any trepidations first, with? This is the first time, this is the first time a pimp going to be going into the hall. Godfather. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know he's going to have some women with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, man, it's going to be awesome, man. To actually get a chance to make that walk, you know, 2013. Um, you you know you was there with me, you right? Know, and that right. night was um, right. It was majestic. It was a night always special, man. Special do it every night, right? Um, but um, the guys gonna get a chance to go out there and do it. I'm gonna be there to support them. Then um, Sunday night, of course, WrestleMania is gonna kick off. But we got a two hour program before WrestleMania right. kick off show, and um, it's gonna be awesome. Gonna get that done, and then we got Monday night Raw as well um, here in Dallas, Texas. But um, don't forget Tuesday night in Houston, Texas, SmackDown. 
I will, will be there. there. To, uh, I will be there, bro. Man. I'll be down there here. Yeah, I, know yeah. I know you might want to give away some tickets on your show or something, so uh, let me know. And by the way, congratulations on the new, new show. Hey, uh, I know, appreciate it, bro. Stevie. You know, it's going to be awesome, man. Oh, man. You know what we've been doing today, right? No, what you been doing, man? Man, we've been, been, we've been pumping reality of wrestling. You know that, right? Man, reality of wrestling, man, uh, the flagship, man. You know, now, no, no, dog, dog, you don't get it, dog. We've been pumping reality of wrestling. Can that's you dig it? Saying, man. <laughs> that's what you that's what you need to be doing. I mean, <laughs> every Sunday, it comes on every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. on Channel 39, the same show that we watched when we were kids, you know, watching Paul Boss do his thing. Now we're doing our thing on Channel 39. We definitely need to support. Come out there to 10,000 um, Eminem Flowery Expressway and uh, check out our new facility out there. It's awesome. we got a huge boxing event going on April 30th out there. I, I hear you guys talk about Andre Ward, talk about some boxing. Come out there April 30th, right. 10,000 MF Lowry, and check out some local boxing, smoke a cigar, and uh, take a selfie with the five time champ. Hey, as a matter of fact, that boxing event, the guy that's really over that whole organization is Lou Savarese. Am I not right? Yeah, Lou Savarese. Okay, well, we got to get with Lou, and we got to get him in the studio to promote that show. Okay. And uh, just say, just say win, man. Oh uh, no 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 no! I'm just you know, I'm Luke. just putting a bug in your ear because that's what we're promoting here. You know, the guys that's doing grassroots promotion like Reality of Wrestling, like Lou Severis and some of the other people that are doing things in the greater Houston area, and that's what we want to promote. And we want to promote it hard and promote it big and help out as much as we can because it's good for all of us that's into combat sports. Hey man, um, that's what we're gonna be doing out there, man. Uh, we got a lot of boxing events um, on, on on the calendar. We got a lot of um, MMA events on the calendar, Muay Thai events right. on the calendar, as well as reality of wrestling. I'm gonna be doing that thing. Trying to hook up this one big show. I want to do a night with Zero. You know, represent the you know the hometown boy, man, and uh, you know get get the people to come out there and uh, you, know, uh, right. you know show some respect to the guy who's been putting it down in the city for so long, man, grinding. Right. You know, so that's right. what we're doing, man. I'm like you, man. It's all about. It's all about the city. It's all about giving back and uh, creating some at the same time. Well, hey, brother, I sure appreciate you calling in. I know you got some some more things. I know Vince run you guys really, really hard. Not like the uh, Legends contract guys like me, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> <laughs> you, but I know you got to go down there and lay it down, baby, lay it down hard. And hey, right here in Houston, everybody's proud of you. So we appreciate you calling in to my first show, man, and making it happen. And we're gonna keep doing it, brother. Reality of Wrestling on top. Can you dig it? I appreciate it, bro. Most All right, dog. Most keep doing your thing, man. Love hey, you, bro. Love you too, brother. Peace. That was a great Booker T, five-time champion. Calling in, laying it down. I know, Angel, I know you had some words for him. Ooh, man, but you know, the man is busy, bro. Yeah, yeah, the man is busy, you. man. That's what you got to understand. I got to leave him alone. DDP is busy, man. I don't have no Lulax calling in here, brother. <laughs> Nobody calls in here but top guys. Top guys. If you're not a top guy, hey, Stevie Ray may give you a little time for you, but not big time. Can you dig it? I dig That's it. That's what we're going to do on this show. Hey, we got any more callers out there? Well, let's, let's see what they're doing right now. Yo, you're on the line with Stevie Ray. Who we got? Uh, this is uh, Texas Mike Stevie Ray. Just want to congratulate you and uh, a couple of things. Uh, please take it easy on my buddy uh, Ralph Cooper, okay? What? <laughs> Wait a minute, man. I'm tired of people calling in here, you know, taking up for Ralph. What about me? What about me? I'm just trying to do a job, and this man jumps all over me, you know, with his cohorts that's on the phone with him. And that's not cool, bro. I got to defend means, myself. I have to retaliate. <laughs> he means well, okay? <laughs> no, I, you know, I really don't think he does, man. This guy is, you know, he, he sits in the shadows. That's what he does. He hides in the shadows. He hides in the corners. And he tries to m make people feel as though he's an innocent spectator. But underneath that exterior, I'm telling you right now, this man, I, I don't, I, I can't even talk about him no more. Now, now, I look forward to uh, you talking boxing. You, you mentioned you boxing is included, and uh, I will be tuning in every every Wednesday. I don't really follow wrestling, but uh, it's been a few years now. Uh, what is it, ten or eight years? Wait, wait a minute! You said you don't follow wrestling. What did you used to follow wrestling? No, no, not really. Not uh, to be honest. No, I mean, no, ever. No. No, no, I never got got into it. Wait I mean, a minute, man! I'm, 
This but, but is no, amazing. I, I, You're the only human I, being I've ever met that did, never got into wrestling. What is this? But I, but I got related this is an an anomaly. But, but you will follow, uh, you will talk boxing, right? Yes, I will okay. talk boxing. And, and we will talk anything that's got anything to do with people hurting each other. And, and regarding wrestling, uh, look, uh, for somebody that didn't, doesn't follow, I went to see the movie uh, 10 years ago, whatever it was, The Wrestler. The wrestler. Yes. Uh, 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 Mickey Roy. Mo- mo- yeah, I thought it was a great, sad, wonderful movie. How much of it was, um, uh, shall we say, reality? Or can, can I, for somebody that doesn't follow wrestling, how much can I, is it just, you know what I'm trying to say. No, actually I don't. But I think I can okay. I slightly put it, I, I can slightly put it together. I think what you, let me say this. All movies like that, when people, people do research on movies like that, in some way, shape, or form, that movie had a realism for someone. Who that someone was, I don't know. But it's probably a combination of many wrestlers. Because if you're in the business like myself, you've seen that same thing happen to many guys in the business. This business is still the entertainment business, and it can bring you in, chew you up, and spit you out. Just like music, just like acting, just like many things that has to do with the entertainment business. Wrestling is no different because your, your money, everything is predicated on how many people buy tickets to see you. And once they stop clapping, and once they stop rooting, and once the fans stop coming around wanting your autograph, it is hard for people to deal with. And I think that's uh, what that show was trying to uh, uh, imp- just try and, to show. And yeah, you and you did answer my question. That's what that's what I was getting at. And yeah, I, yeah. I appreciate your your your, your honesty, sir. And yeah. uh, I look forward to your show. Have a good appreciate one. it, brother. Thank you. Got anybody else? Yo, you on the line with Stevie Ray? Hey, what up, Stevie Ray? How you doing, man? Good, dog. Who we talking to? This is Joe. Oh, I'm what's up? Joe, Joe hey. What's up, dog? <laughs> oh, man, how you doing, man? Well, I'm a wrestler. I've been following wrestling. I, I, I hear you, you kind of healing on Texas Mike. No, man. wait a minute, dog. I wasn't healing <laughs> on him, dog. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I just wants to know. You know what I'm saying? Suckers got to know. You know, we got to yeah, lay it down, I mean, man. He's the first person I ever met that didn't have any inkling of professional wrestling in his, in his well-being at any time in his life, and that was just hard to under, hard to believe. But hey, it happens. Well, you, you, well, you know, Steve Ray, you, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of guys. Matter of fact, I was listening to Ralph Shaw, I think, a year or two ago. Uh huh. And I don't remember exactly what the subject was, but there was a guy that I think it was actually I think it was around the time when I think it may have been when Chris Benoit, you know, that whole tragedy. Happened right, right, right. Sure, but I think that was what oh se- oh seven. There was a and that, right, and there was right. a guy that called in and was basically kind of, you know, knocking the business and was mm-hmm. saying that wrestling is not really a sport. It's more like Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus and all that kind of stuff. And I was going to maybe get your thoughts on it maybe at another time, you know, wondering what you and maybe uh, Booker, Booker T, what y'all think about when, you know, people who are, you know, more or less non-fans or casual fans or whatever you want to call it, you know, make remarks like that basically. You know, well, they don't understand the wear and tear that these guys, you know, go through. Well, you know. Their bodies on. Go I, ahead. I, I honestly think, you know, people that make, you know, everybody's got an opinion. Opin- opinions vary. I mean, but, you know, I'm the kind of person, and I think most people should be the kind of person. Before you really have anything uh, disparaging to say about anything, you should learn about it first because you have no knowledge right. of it. If you're ignorant towards something, you can't help but say something stupid about it. And when people right. come, I've had people come up to me when I'm taking care of business somewhere. And I'm not Stevie Ray at that time. I'm just a consumer right. doing what mm-hmm. I do. And someone right. will say, oh, you that wrestler. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm that wrestler. Oh, yeah. is wrestling fake? And you know what I ask right. him? You know, I mean, you know, what I, you know what my answer is? What's that? If you had common sense, you wouldn't ask me that. So right. then they think I'm a, you know what? Right. But you should have thought about what you said before you asked. Right. So don't be mm-hmm. don't be upset when the answer is something that you should know for yourself. Because anybody that's got mm-hmm. common sense should know what we do for a living. We don't we never say it's sport. We never say it's this. We say it's entertainment. Right. 
but it's a lot of it's a, a lot of the injuries that have, have occurred over the years. So a lot of the guys, those, those injuries are. Man, fun. how many injuries you seen Tiger Woods had? He don't do nothing but swing a golf club. <laughs> Good how many times this guy been in the hospital? You know what I'm saying? He been in the hospital more right. times than me. You right. know what I'm saying? Getting surgery. <laughs> right. And I'm coming off the top See, rope. Right. See, you know what I'm saying? This guy swung a club and it killed him. Blown knees and everything. Yeah. Can well, you can you believe that? I understand it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, That's and, crazy. And, and, and you're independent contractors. We're and, independent and contractors. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. We're not yeah, employees. I've been following you guys. I've been following you all for a long time. You and your brother. Matter of fact, I remember in the early days when you all first came in the – WCW before y'all were Booker T and, and Stevie Ray. I remember when y'all were Kane and Cole. Kane and Cole. Kane and Cole. Yeah, yeah. Well, and hey man, you you have there, followed the career, huh? And remember for remember for a while there, you and Book you and your brother Booker used to come to the ring on a cell phone. I think I think that's when they had the old school <laughs> cell phone. And y'all were talking to you uh, the, the secret uh, advisor. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, man. That and was a good old days, man. A month or so later, it was a real. It was Sister Sherry. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> coming out to the ring with y'all. Right, right. Yes. That's because we didn't yeah. that's because we didn't know who was gonna be coming out of the ring with, so we act like we knew who we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've been listening to you, you and Ralph, man, you've been coming on Ralph's show for probably about a good ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah I started Ralph been healing on each other. I got two questions for you. What's that? Are you and Ralph ever gonna get in the ring and, and first question number two, who who's going over? Man, I'm gonna kick I'm gonna kick <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna slap Ralph so hard on that bald head of his I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave lifelines on the top of his head when I slap him on it and pull the skin off. So that should tell you right there. You're not gonna go easy on him, huh? You man. Go I'm telling you, like, you right now. No mercy. I'm telling you right now. When I slap him on his head, you're gonna see a handprint on it. You gonna stretch him like a rubber band? I'm gonna stretch the crap out of him, dog. <laughs> and you don't stretch him, right? <laughs> and throw him over uh, the top. <laughs> that's, that's going to be too funny Hey man, don't be a stranger Call in man and uh, hey Get the app out there and let's have a good time on this show bro Yeah, absolutely man I know it's your title, Straight Shooting man. That was, Did you call it straight, the title of the show Straight Shooting for, for a reason That kind of song No, like, because I call it Straight Shooting Because that's what people used to call me in the wrestling business Gotcha Straight gotcha. Shooting, actually hey. Tony Schiavone gave me that name Hey Steve, you don't mind if I plug y'all plug plug your your your, your stuff real quick? I was just gonna mention to all the fans, you know. Um, I was looking at uh, uh, ROW as well. Uh, yeah. Rock, rock, ring of um, uh, um, reality of wrestling comes on every still comes on Sunday morning. Sunday morning is eleven eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. Yes. On the CW network. Yes. Uh huh. Booker T and so I, I heard a while back. Um, Bruce Pritchard was uh, working with you guys too. Yeah, Bruce so, does work. Uh, Bruce does work with us, and Bruce is going to be coming in the studio here shortly. I also. Oh, cool! Yeah, brother yeah. love. Yeah, brother love Thank be coming you, in the studio brother. shortly. Yeah, and Booker T, your brother, he has a podcast. I think it's on CBS Radio it's called Heated Conversation. Yeah, uh huh. Sure yeah, probably mention that later on. Right, right. Comes on. Well, yeah, man, congratulations. Thank you very much, bro. We're going to be listening to, listening to your show every Wednesday. Cool, man. Call in, man. We'll chop it up, man, about whatever we yeah. got going here, bro. Yeah, I'm a wrestling mark myself. So yeah, <laughs> definitely. Pre- every Wednesday. I appreciate right, it, dog. Thank you very much. You. Peace. All right, we'll talk to you later. All right, dog. Bye. We got any more? Okay. Hello. You ch- you right. Yeah, who we got? It's Jim Cooley. What? <laughs> 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 What's up, Jim? Going up. Not much, man. I called to congratulate you. I'm listening. I missed. I missed the interview with Dally, but uh, man, you could. You you in. don't tell me you missed the job, interview, brother. man. The interview was on like neck bone. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> it was on like neck bone, man. Dallas chopped it up. You know, can't nobody chop it up like Dallas, man. I mean, he can go. No, no, no. It's not possible. <laughs> hey, man. I appreciate you calling in. What you up to, man? I thought you had a gig tonight. I do. I got my show. My show starts at 7, though. Uh, LastRoundPod.com, if you want to check it out. You know, Stevie's always on there. But, uh, yeah, no, I just called. I, look, I turned it on. I said, man, he's doing a good job. It's your first show. You sound great. Thank you, man. I mean, you always sounded great when you were doing commentary and, and everything, but I think you're doing a good job, man. I'm proud of you. Hey, Jim, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for calling in, brother. I, that means yep. a lot coming from you, bro. Yeah, yep. I'll talk to you soon, brother. All right, brother. Peace. Right. Anybody else? What we got Anyway. Here? Yes. 
Stevie Ray, this is Brad Gilmore. I thought I'd call in to see how you were doing. What do you want, man? Well, you know, I'm just going over some more O.J. Simpson evidence. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just looking. No, I just wanted to call and congratulate you on this episode. I've been listening to everything. It's been going off amazingly. You're a natural host. Very entertaining. I'm going to be tuning in every Wednesday. Hey, I appreciate it. For, for, for everybody out there that doesn't know, Brad Gilmore is one of the announcers of Reality of Wrestling. And a the lot of times... One. He can see someone get hit in the head with a pipe and never saw what happened. That's Brad <laughs> Gilmore. At least that's what he claims. I don't know if the guy needs glasses or not, but, hey, he's one of the best in the business. And, hey, I appreciate you calling in, dog. Thank you. Thank hey, you. wait what a minute, man, before, before I got you on yeah. the phone. Did you get my yeah. message? Your message about the, the app? No, about Walker. Oh, yes, yes. He should, be, he should be listening right now. Okay, then. Cool, man. I just wanted to make sure. All right? Yes. But hey, yeah, I, well, appreci- I appreciate it, man. Make sure everyone checks out Reality of Wrestling. I am the better looking announcer who's going to be on television. So look for me, not the other guys. <laughs> okay, dog. On your show. Thanks, brother. Peace. All right, take care. We got any more? Okay. Well, hey, first night, we chopped it up. Straight shooting with Stevie Ray right here. 92.9. FM HD, the historic KCOH studios. You got any parting? You got any parting announcements today, Mr. Corona? I don't have any parting announcements, but let me let y'all know: if y'all are MMA fans, boxing fans, wrestling fans, any type of combat sports, straight shooting with Ray, with Stevie Ray, is the place to hear it. The place to hear. Right here, every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Peace!